So today is going to be a little cold and windy, so we're going to pull out the gill, the new, the new season of gill. What oh, weather jackets we got? There we go. So I'm, I was going to have you wear the yellow one. I'm, I'm the yellow. Your one? yellow one, yeah. Okay. I like to, to wear the black ones because um, it hides all the mold up in my boat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks great. These are real water, windproof and waterproof, nice. and nice big pockets. Oh, and like a nice thick neck. Uh huh. Very comfy. And we also got this one, oh. which is like the Ed called it the watch keeping jacket. Oh my god, look at that. We got it for Beth. It's like so nice when you get out of the oh. water and, and just like it's like a cloak, you know? Is it? So, really? <laughs> yeah, and it's waterproof too, so if you're out on oh. watch, you know, and it gets splashed. Great. Yeah. Wow. So that'll warm you up. Yes. Well, that's, that's, all, that's all we got, right? Yeah, that's just the second pair of trousers. Now we're underway. And off to the locks. It's about seven miles, I think, to the first set of locks. And we would keep going, but then I think you have to wait till an hour before high tide because the tide currents get between like four or five knots up there. So we'll probably the spend the night. Yeah, go to the left. Just kind of stay in the middle. A little bit rockier than yesterday. Kind of choppy here. are kind of hitting us on the half quarter here. We're getting a little bit rolly. Not too bad. I want to need this. I need to use the wind vane sometime just to make sure that thing is working good. Here's a look at the, the chart. So that's the island we're leaving and we're heading across this lake here and the water gets a little shallow so I'm working my way back into the channel up here and then we'll just go up into uh, the locks with maybe two and a half miles to go. Fuel filters have been staying pretty clean, but now that we've gotten the boat all jostled around, this is where I'm starting to worry about them getting clogged up. So we'll be checking them a lot more frequently. Got a little waiting area here. experience of the year. Not too bad. I didn't film a whole lot. I should have got the GoPro out. That would have been good. It was a little challenging. It was a little challenging because the wind was from behind us and I I don't like docking from the wind from behind because it's hard to slow the boat down, you know, it wants to go fast. And it's hard to steer it when you're in reverse and stuff. But not too bad. Now we're gonna find a marina and wait until the tide is right to head up to the Wadden Sea. Don't fill it all the way. Let's go here. 30 liters, $38. I'm not sure if I did much video because it was raining really hard yesterday, but we got a slip in this harbor here and it was about 23 euros, but it included the showers here. Um, and 
uh, we're gonna go through the locks today maybe, or next set of locks. I think it's maybe eight miles, but we're gonna explore the town first. That's a cool boat too, lots of cool boats here. Just, oh, that is a cool ship there. Looks like the rabbit's got the bottom ones. Mm -hmm. you know, the yes. from the oh, yes, I think I heard that. Yeah. Nice and calm day. That boat, it looks like it's sinking. I've never seen such a thing. It must, have, it just must have a lot of cargo. Wow. And they say my, my boats aren't seaworthy. <laughs> my book got a little wet, but I'm going to finish it. I'm halfway through. These Spanish guys had a rough time of it. You thinking about non-stop circumnavigation sometime soon, Annalene? Uh, at least now. <laughs> Sounds uh, like an adventure. <laughs> sure. Wouldn't it be hard to skip all the places along the That's way, though? Thing. I would have to stop somewhere. Yeah. So okay. your non your non-stop wouldn't quite be so non-stop. It would be non-stop. <laughs> but I could be. Yeah, I think I'd have to see the places before I did a non-stop. And then once I've seen them, I don't know how I would sail past them without going to visit them again. I know. But there's some, there's, I do like the challenge aspect. Yeah. I just don't know if I could mentally make yeah. myself not stop. Now that I have another 3D printer, I'm thinking of all the things I could 3D print, and a perfect one would be a cover for this uh, this depth sounder. I had taped a piece of cloth over it, uh, but unfortunately the cloth blew away. So I think I'm gonna have to 3D model that and then get that 3D printed. Yeah. It's uh, progressive, I think, yeah. We got these interesting mystery buns. I'm curious to see. They're mystery buns. Papaos. Papaos. Ah, green. I'm curious how they taste. Oh, I like them. I like it. We're coming up on the Steven Sluice locks out to the Wadden Sea. Here. So there's also a bridge too, I guess we'll have to get to the Yeah, so Adeline got them on the phone and we gotta wait about an hour and a half to get the locks to open for us. So we're gonna make some dinner. What do we do? And then I guess there's another boat coming and we'll go in with them. Oh, it's got a car on it. And a crane. And a motorboat. Look at all the cheeses we got. Three cheeses on one cracker. We are living the dream. Mm -hmm. Here we are in the Steven Sluice locks. Luckily, Annalyn has a phone number that works here in Europe, so he, she's able to call them because they weren't answering on the radio. We're just sharing the lock with this big red boat and hopefully the drawbridge will open. Hopefully that's not a separate person we have to call. <clears throat> Move us. Open it up. I think I'll wait for him to get out first before I go. Going. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I can feel our rudder moving all over the place with this big boat in front of us. They've opened the swing bridge. So we're, oh, there to go. Like it's steering a straight line. Wow, these are big gates. Oh, those are super big gates. Wow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm all over the place. Going all over the place, it's like a whirlpool in here. The gates to the sea. Now the swing bridge. Is that how deep the water is? Two or three, three meters maybe? Don't know how to read that sign. But I'm assuming we got enough depth. There's a lowish tide, but we'll be okay. And tomorrow morning, let's sail all the way to Dan Hitter. They told me the Wadden Sea would be Wadden, but... Not as Wadden as this. It is more Wadden than I ever expected. <laughs> and I, I am happy about that. <laughs> oh, there's Wadden over there. Wadden over there. Wadden over here. And a windmill. Welcome to Holland. So now we find our little marina. Hopefully there's a spot for us. <laughs> so there was like definitely a marina for pleasure craft on that side. But I wanted to go to this side so we'd be through the locks for tomorrow morning. And there's like a mysterious, mysterious marina over here. I think we'll be able to tie up. I was looking on Google, uh, Google Street View and it looked like there wasn't a gate that would stop us from going in. So I think we'll be okay. You know, it's better to ask forgiveness later than to, <laughs> than to miss the lock time. <laughs> Got Haven, so I think we are welcome here. Hopefully we're not locked in. Let's see if there is a... I'm really excited about what I'm about to show you. You're not gonna see this kind of thing on Uma sailing, but this is a Wadden Balabin spoot. <laughs> and uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, you, will, you, you won't believe it. You won't, so. you won't, you probably won't believe it. So if you're the kind of person that doesn't believe what you see, just, just turn off the <laughs> video right now. Cause you're, you're about to see it with your own eyes. Here on Sam Holmes Sailing. Dun, dun, dun. In 15, over 15,000 miles of sailing to get here. And we have finally reached it. And I'm so glad to have you all along with me. This, this is journey. probably the house where the workers would have like lived while they were building this thing. <laughs> it's important to know the history of one of these, you know? And then they would have fended, fend, fended off intruders with their their bows and arrows and throw, and slingshots through these holes, you know, because <clears throat> you know you knew the the neighboring countries would be wanting to attack while, while they were building this, and it's it's crazy we don't have anything like this in the U.S. But you can see why. I mean, just look at it. Like it would take centuries centuries of, of knowledge being passed down over generations, basically. They say the Dutch developed the technology from like all over the world to have the energy uh, uh, forces involved to build one of these. We're really here, Adeline. Whoa. Oh my gosh. No way. No way, no way, no way. Ah, and birds. Oh, maybe it's broken. Well, there it is, the Wadden Sea. You saw it, you saw it here yourself. For the first time. So much Wadden. So much more Wadden than there was. Before, before, before it was the water and it was so much more. 10 out of 10, 11 out of 10. 11, yeah. 11 out of 10. I like that where the rocks are. How did it get so... 
It's another windmill. Oh, what a windmill. What a windmill. What do you mean? This is probably a better angle. Yeah. <laughs> it's a big, a big ship elevator. That's the, the bar at the top of a ship. We're underway again, off into the Wadden Sea. I think the wind's gonna be good today. Should be behind us. And once we motor out into the channel, we should be able to turn off the motor and sail the whole way. And we're gonna have a real good, strong current with us. I think I timed it right. If there's any other fenders out, I think, is there one up front? Pull that one in too. Sails are out and we're underway into the bottom. See, with all the bottom. Now we're getting the mainsail up. Okay, wait a second. Let me get us into the wind. So we think Wadden, maybe Wadden Sea means shallow, and it's a very shallow sea. We're gonna stay inside the channel. We could probably go straight across it. But I've had these shortcuts I've tried to take in the past turn into all day adventures trying to get the boat off <laughs> the sandbar. So again, I think these sandbars are all over the place. So as fun as that sounds, I think we'll just stay Here, saw here. Wow, and the watercolor change right there, too. What's that guy doing? What's he doing over there? Those backwards? Let's see his place. There's the town up here. Dan Helder. Cruise chefs and all. See how strong the current is. We're basically just drifting sideways, and we're pointing over here. But our, our uh, we're actually going to end up drifting right into the channel here. Perfectly. Actually, almost just just barely made the turn. If we had gone too far past it, I don't think we'd been able to make it back up against this current. It's quite strong. We thought these were buildings, but these are actually huge navy ships. Look at that. So many of them. A tight little entrance here, but says visitors welcome. Cool oh, harbor. Like, they're like wave blockers kind of things or something, I guess. Floating. Interesting. You know, just a normal harbor, kind of. On the chart. Search and rescue. So we made it to Dan Helder. 
and we just tied up at the reporting buoy. I don't know if that's for customs or just for checking into the marina. Let's see. Okay, so we are at an impasse. We went to go get food, but we don't know if we're gonna be able to get back in here. Uh, maybe it's, I think it's on that box there. Oh, Let's see. oh yeah. We have a, well, here we have a big uh, terrestrial submarine. These are the ones that go over and under the land. That's an especially big one. Board a boat. You drill press and a sewing machine. Today I have a special treat that I've never tried before. It's called a McCrocket. I was at McDonald's and I saw it on the menu and I had to try it. Apparently they're only available here and in Belgium. I don't know what it is. Oh. Horseradish. So now it's looking like I might have to wait a few days to go out into the channel and make my way to Belgium because the, the wind is just blowing real hard against me. But found a good ice cream shop, so I'm happy. I can wait as long as I need to. Looking like maybe this weekend, so maybe like four, three or four more days we can go. Well, fortunately, I found a button on the gate, and I was I told them I was on a boat visiting the yacht harbor, and they let me back in. So we're back going to get back to Pickle. The Dutch border police came by and they examined our passports very closely. That was probably the most official, like, I don't know, stop I've, <laughs> I've had my whole trip. Um, but, Serious. But we, we passed. Yeah. Access approved. Access approved. Yeah. Uh, oh, we should have, we should have asked how they found Oh, us. yeah. I'm always so curious. Yeah, they said it was because it was an American boat. Like right. they stood out. Oh, that the, the, the marina office did, but I wonder how they, if they like this patrol area, or if they saw us on the, from the control tower come in. Or... And what if you wouldn't have had that American flag? Would they just never have come then? Yeah, I always wanted that too, yeah, if you just didn't have a flag up. Yeah. Then, then they notice, yeah. Huh. Interesting. This marina here in Den Hilder is awesome. It's got free laundry and free showers. It's also like one of the most affordable ones I stayed at. I think it was like 10 bucks a night. I filled up all my water bottles again today. This is my preferred way to carry water on the boat. Just these like one and a half liter bottles. Very easy to drink out of and also fill. And I don't have to worry about keeping my, my tanks clean. Uh, on the land. These, uh, vending machine. I can smell the goat cheese. No way. Look at it. Wow. Oh. Yes. Thanks for watching. Uh, in the next video, I'm, I'm going to be sailing to Belgium. The weather is finally looking good uh, tomorrow, the next two days. So I think it'll be a good opportunity to sail, sail down there. I'll see you guys then.